Happy holidays, everybody. And uh, I told you that I'd be back with a couple of fingerstyle Christmas guitar songs that pick up on the lessons where we left off. So this is the first one. And um, I'll go ahead and play it, and then I'll break it down for you. So here we go. Okay, so it's a, a simplified version of Jingle Bells, and uh, let me go through the right hand part for you here first. So um, I simplified the melody to make make the right hand part easier, and we'll we'll spice this thing up as we go through it a little bit farther along here. But um, I, I did want to keep it simpler here in the beginning. So uh, the right hand part, the melody is played entirely on the first and second strings. So I just use my uh, middle finger on the first string and my index finger on the second string to play the entire thing. So there's the first part. You can see the, the Jingle Bells melody there. Now we're still on the first string. Now right here we drop down to the second string. So I'm plucking those two notes with my uh, index finger. Switching over to the F chord, and I'm just keeping that real simple instead of the that melody like that. I just simplified it. So it would be much easier for now, since uh, some of you may just be starting on your fingerstyle journey. And we'll talk about how to make it sound a little more interesting, as I said here in an upcoming lesson. But that's all first string melody. Now here I'm switching over to the C chord, still on the first string, D7, so that's, so it's first string, second string, first string, so that's middle finger, index finger, and I'm going to a G7 bar chord, second string melody, so that's the index finger, and then first string melody. now and see what that looks like. For the left hand on this we've got four chords. We've got a C chord and I'm going to an F chord and I'm playing a, a like a smaller version of the F here. And I'm using my thumb around the top of the neck to get my, my low F note down here. If that's too difficult you could still play a, you could do a bar chord F there. But you'll see a lot of fingerstyle guitar players wrap their thumb over the top of the neck to catch notes and that's what I'm doing here. And then I've got a D7 chord, which is like a C chord with a little finger on the third string. And then I've got a G7 bar chord here. And uh, starting out on the C, pretty straightforward. Now I do have my alternating bass pattern right here. I'm going from the fifth string to the fourth string with my pick and then over to the sixth string and notice I have to move my ring finger over from the fifth string over to the sixth string in order to get the alternating bass pattern in there so now here's where my melody comes in so I'm going it starts on the open string I'm using my little finger to catch the G on the first string I'm holding the C here as part of the chord, and then I use my little finger to play the D right here that's on the third fret on the second string, and then I'm back to the open string again. I'm going over to the F. And right there's where I simplified the melody, so just a little mini bar here on the first two strings. And when I go over to the C, I gotta keep that little mini bar at first, and then I let my index finger roll up. So now I'm just playing the C chord because the melody goes from the F to the E. And now another thing here, I'm not doing an alternating bass pattern on the F chord. I'm just using octaves. So I'm playing F on the sixth string down here, and F on the fourth string. And here's my switch. 
switch. And again, I simplified the melody there a little bit. Now I'm up to the D7 chord. And that's pretty simple, No, uh, nothing tricky about that. I do have the alternating bass pattern again here with my third finger going from the uh, fifth string over to the sixth string. And then I go to my G7 chord. And um, once again, nothing too tricky there. took off on it a little bit there and um, again just to to give you a sort of a sneak preview of where we might head with this thing you can you can start to play around with the melody change it up a little bit uh, if you have any questions drop me a line you could go back and review the first two lessons on fingerstyle guitar that's where I address the, the alternating bass pattern with the thumb I didn't really get into that uh, much in this video because I covered that in the last two videos so take a look at that again and I'll give you the tab. So there you go. Jingle bells. I'll see you in the next one.